Isn't that just wonderful? That's Etta James and At Last. I love that song. And it's just right, I think, for a Saturday morning we're trying to get over the week we've just had. Um, now, I'm delighted to say that I've been joined by some special guests this morning. Well, one in particular. He's a local uh, singer-songwriter from Hessel, and he's come into the studio armed with his guitar to play some live music. It's Dan Halsey. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. Oh, let me just get you set up a bit louder. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. Thanks uh, for having got me in. <laughs> Lovely to welcome you. And you've got your girlfriend here My as wife. well. Your wife. Yep. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. What's your first name? It's Joe. Joe. Welcome, Joe. Thank and you. And by Dan's side, we've got, well, somebody who's known to us all. It's a, a Beverly FM presenter, folk music presenter, Max Roberts. Good morning, Max. Good morning. And um, we get you on as well. <laughs> That's it. Right. Got you. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Oh, you're nice and loud and clear. <laughs> okay, now then, Dan, you are a, a local singer-songwriter, yep. and you have uh, already got an album out, your debut album. Mm -hmm. How did it all begin? Well, I started writing the album um, whilst I was at university, studying music technology. Um, and from then on, I've, I've just tried to promote the album and been gigging locally. And at the moment, I'm trying to form a band to perform my originals. So I, we already have a, a fantastic drummer called Brian Taylor, who um, plays the cajon. And I'm looking for a bass player and a violinist at the oh, minute, if you know any. <laughs> well, we know anybody we'll, we'll put them, I'm sure we do, yes. <laughs> now, you said you're doing music technology. Mm -hmm. What is that? Well... <laughs> I've learned at university um, how to use recording machines oh. and so and produce my own music. Right. So my album was um, recorded and produced myself and a friend of mine, Sam Dawson, who I think is going to appear on the show. Um, he is, soon, yes. Um, he mastered my album as well. What got you into music there? Because here you are, you're 24, mm -hmm. only 24 listeners. <laughs> 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 He's got his whole life ahead of him. It's not that we're jealous, is it? <laughs> no, 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 well, only a bit. <laughs> Young and uh, ready to um, take the world by storm. But um, at 24, how old were you when you first got into music, Dan? Oh, I think my earliest memory um, of music is hearing my granddad play the organ. Yeah. And it was my dad um, performing music around the house. My dad's a, a singer-songwriter himself, um, so that was a huge influence on me. But I think it was when I was in my teens, um, going to secondary school, I met, met up with a friend there and we um, started a duo up, um, which lasted about four or five years. Yeah. And uh, just the love of um, performing music to an audience. Was um, it any type really of music me. that really got you, inspired you? The music of the Beatles has been a huge influence for me. Right. Um, but again, growing up with my dad's record collection, which was the Beatles, um, Queen, Peter Gabriel, you know, lots of music like that. Um, and the music you write, is it of that vein then? It's something, uh, that, that type of music, not, not um, music necessarily of today, but something that hints back to maybe the 60s, 70s, 80s, that time. Yeah, of definitely. Thing. Something with a strong melody line. Yeah. Something, I try and make it catchy. Yeah. And, um, yeah, yeah, but lots of different influences. You're going to play a couple of songs for us. I'll take a break so you can get yourself settled. We'll hear from an established artist, but one, who knows, you might be knocking off the stage <laughs> in years to come. You never know. <laughs> you get yourself settled, and you're going to play... What record are you going to play first for us? I'd like to play a song called New Day. New Day, OK. We'll play, hear from Michael Bublé first. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll introduce you and your song. And that uh, New Day is taken from your debut album. It is, yes. 24, you've got a debut album. <laughs> How good is that, folks? Here's Michael Bublé, just while um, Dan gets himself set up, and then we'll hear from Dan shortly after. And that was Michael Bublé there and everything, an artist that is going to have competition in the years to come from my guest this morning, Dan Halsey. <laughs> no pressure, Dan. No pressure. OK, now then, we've done the chat. Let's hear some music from you. This is a, a track from your debut album called New Day. Thank you. For some people, grumpy people, everything's going wrong They don't look 
past the gray skies to search for the light in the lights. For some people, happy people, everything's going to plan. They don't look at the gray sky, cause they're having a whale of a time. They say now, greet the morning with a smile. Kick back the covers, gotta wake up in style. No matter how cold, how gray, just be thankful it's a brand new day. New day, new day, new day. Some people, long-faced people, happily wearing a frown. Downbeat, so melancholy, willfully blind to the light. Oh yeah. But some people, the heartfelt people, that keep the world spinning round. Good vibes with their big smiles. Full of life, always positive. They say now, greet the morning with a smile. Kick back the covers, gotta wake up in style. No matter how cold, how gray, just be thankful it's a brand new day, new day, new day. New day, new day. Oh, oh, oh. it's never too late to start over. Cherish your twenty-four hours and make it a credible new day, new day, new day, new day. Greet the morning with a smile. Kick back the covers, gotta wake up in style. No matter how cold, how gray, just be thankful it's a brand new day, new day, new day, new day, new day. Oh wow. Yeah, great. That was that was fantastic, Dan. Uh, when did you Thank write you. that? I wrote that um, a couple of years ago now. Right. Whilst on a, a family holiday in the Lake District. And what what inspired you to write that? Because it's got a really catchy tune to it, an upbeat tune yeah. to it as well. It must have been a grand holiday. It was, it was a good holiday. <laughs> good holiday. Um, no, it's just about um, being positive yeah. and treating every new day as a, an opportunity to change, change the way you live. And that's from your debut album called... It is, Moving On. Moving On. Yes. So um, that's, has that been out for a while or is that... Yes, it's, yeah, out? it's been out, yeah. It's been and out on sale? It's on sale, yeah. Do you have a website? I do. So I don't have a website, I have a Facebook page, yeah. um, Dan Halsey Music. Yeah. Also, you can find my music on SoundCloud, you can stream it on Spotify, um, or you can buy it on Amazon as well. And how are things going for you? Okay, yeah, they're going well. Like I said, I'm trying to form a band yeah. um, to play these originals and play festivals and also um, I'm working on a new album. And are you uh, touring locally or nationally? What's, what's the plan to get you uh, up and out there? At the minute, it's, it's locally. I yeah. have a few um, like resident gigs, gigs around. Um, but yeah, 
anyone who wants to yeah. give me a shot at a festival or anything mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Well, I, I first came across Dan when he played uh, at the Process P yeah. Folk Club out, out at Etten um, and went down that well. It's a couple of months ago now and uh, it was that well received that, in fact, uh, he's returning in November as uh, as a headline act. Oh, fantastic. What a, what a, what a tribute as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was a re- really good night. I really enjoyed it. And... Um, it's going to be the 4th of November. Yes. Yeah. Um, and also playing that night will be the Beckwater Bushwhackers and yes. uh, another great songwriter, Sam Dawson. And it should be a, a really good night. Just remind us the date again. It's the 4th of November. And it's the Process P. That's right, which is at the Light Dragoon in Etten. It's in the, Etten. the first Monday of every month. And I probably should mention that today is the 50th anniversary yeah. of the Process P. It's, uh, we think it's the longest surviving folk club in the UK in the same premises, which is pretty good. And there's a special concert tonight to celebrate it at the Parkway Cinema in Beverley. But uh, unfortunately, it's sold out. I'm not surprised. Okay. (laughs) Now then, Dan, we're going to just take a a short break and then we'll come back and we'll hear some more from you, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Okay. Saturday mornings on Beverly FM. Beverly FM. It is coming up to 11.32 here on Beverly FM, the sound of East Yorkshire. And we've got a cracking sound here live in the studio today, I'm very glad to say. Uh, I've got Max Roberts with me here and our star guest is Dan Halsey. Dan is uh, 24 and is breaking into a very tough business, a music business, but doing it with great skill and talent. Uh, Helped, it has to be said, by his dad. Mark. <laughs> now, Dan, your, your dad, Mark, is a singer-songwriter as well, and he you've is. just said he's been a real influence on you. In what way? He has, yeah. I mean, growing up, he's always been, you know, walking around the house with his guitar, playing songs, and um, inviting me into... Stu- he's got a home studio and to show me how he records music and things like that. And, yeah, whenever I, I finish writing a song, I'll always go to my dad and see what he thinks to it and usually suggest some really good ideas some different lyrics maybe and um yeah so we also we write songs together could you perform together we could could father and son we could come back here and perform together now that would be something (laughs) there we go there we go we shall arrange a date cringing at the minute yeah we definitely could and uh, does he go out busking with you no he doesn't (laughs) (laughs) but you do don't you i do i do sometimes where can people see you um well sometimes i go busking in beverly Mm -hmm. um and in the town in Hull. Um, but I've got a, a gig coming up at the Hallmark Hotel in North Ferriby, um, and that's October the 19th. Right. And that's Saturday afternoon. Now, this is a tough business, Dan, isn't it? You're young, you want to break in, you've uh, got a debut album which you've sort of self-produced, really. Yeah. What uh, is the next step for you in terms of um, getting boosting that career that you want to achieve? I don't know, it's a difficult one. It's it a difficult is. one, yeah. Um, I suppose just meeting the right people um, who can get you to the set and venues and writing a new album and constantly trying to write new things. It's, it new is ideas. tough, Max, isn't it? It's yeah. very tough. It yeah. is indeed, yes. And I think, I think you're right in what you're saying. That, uh, quite often it's meeting people and you're never yes. quite sure what that could lead to. You know, and even, you know, you never know who's listening to shows. They'll hear a song and... Because uh, Dan actually is going to be our local artist of the week next week. Yeah. So you'll hear him with the title track from his album, Moving On, yep. which you could get at around about half nine every day on Beverly FM and uh, on the, the breakfast show, and also around about half five on uh, Robbie's Drive Time. So uh, you can have a listen to him there. But it's it's as he was saying, you know, it's... It, there is a lot of luck involved in it in terms of you never know what avenues are going to open and from where. But we're blessed, aren't we? We have a lot of great talent locally. You were saying before oh, we came d- on air. Incredible. Yeah. I mean, we've been doing this on a Saturday morning now and because I'm, I'm a bit of a saddo, I keep lists and I look back. <laughs> and um, and I think, Dan, that this, this will be the, the 105th time that we've done this. And if I recall, we've only... In terms of having artists come in more than once, we've only had Katie Spencer, yeah. um, Mick McGaggy, and uh, Martin Pearson, and Des Allenby. 
you know, everybody else. It's been a new talent yeah, every yeah. single week, and basically from the local area. So it's, to depth. It is, and it's great to have you here live in the studio, Dan. I'm going to ask you to play a second track, um, and this is called A Little Thing Called Life. Is it from your debut album as well? It isn't, no. This is a brand new song, um, and this will be on my new album, hopefully coming out next year. And that's called? A Little Thing Called Life. And we could get that on your Facebook and... Once it's out, yeah. Once it's out. <laughs> OK, Dan, take it away. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> What might come their way Silently Passing by Hidden away Preoccupied This busy modern world Can leave you feeling so low Oh, do yourself a favor Look up from your phone Cause don't you Missing out, don't you know you're missing out on a little thing called life? A little thing called life, real life. Da, 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 da. Playground, inviting you to play All these missed opportunities You may regret someday And don't you know you're missing out Don't you know you're missing out On a little thing called life A little thing called That was great, Dan. The shades of Jack Johnson in your oh, right. scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Jack. He's very cool, <laughs> yeah, and very upbeat and yeah. uh, really nice to listen to as well. So, um, I think you've got some proud parents, your mum and dad, Mark and Kim, listening today, hopefully, hopefully on Beverly <laughs> FM. <laughs> and what do you do after this? You're going to go out for a bite to eat? We're actually going um, to Lincoln for the day. It's my birthday weekend, so... No. We're going to Happy Lincoln. birthday. 25? <laughs> 24. 24. <laughs> <laughs> He's rubbing it in again. <laughs> okay, now, Dan, uh, so you're about to, um, as I say, you've been playing live, you're playing locally. If you could play anywhere, where would that be? I think it'd be um, in an intimate sort of venue, actually, yeah. to be honest. Um, the Process P, a prime example. People who are there who absolutely love music and listen intently. And also when they're, when they're primed, they sing along. And are you still doing your course, your music technology I'm course? Not, no, actually I work at the Humber Bridge. 
oh. as a security and traffic officer. Really? <laughs> <laughs> totally different. So <laughs> but I do enjoy my job. <laughs> so this is, uh, at the moment, a kind of side thing, but yes. it, you're hoping to become more mainstream, so, obviously. Yeah. Well, good luck to you, Dan, and thank you very much for coming in to play live for us today, and thanks, Max, for arranging it. No and just, problem. Just to, re- just to remind our listeners, you are going to be uh, our local artist of the week next week, and Max is going to be at the Process P, isn't he, on November the 4th? He is, yes, and we've also arranged that uh, he's going to do a slot for me on the, the Folk Hour stage at the Farley Folk Festival next year. Okay, Hopefully. Forward, yeah. 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 That'll be the first weekend in May. Okay. So lots to look forward to, Dan. Wish you all the luck in the world and uh, maybe pop in again and see us sometime. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Okay. Bye bye for now. <laughs>